All right, you're bought into doing event. You see that it can create influence, income, and time freedom. Now let's talk about your biggest fear. Why is that our biggest fear? Interesting, isn't it? Okay, that, that's our biggest fear. What happens if no one shows up? And I think it triggers us from a human behavioral standpoint is what if I'm not enough? Anytime I ever feel like I'm not enough, the thing that I've taught my $2 million body and brain to instantly go to is maybe you're not putting in enough. Maybe you're not putting in enough. It's not that we fear hard work. I think we fear our hard work not working. So what we do is we don't put in the hard work. So inevitably, if we don't put in the work, we don't get the result. Okay, I remember it was after a year we were doing events. I was super excited. We got this bigger location. We had like, uh, I think like 60 or 70 people signed up. I'm super pumped. We opened the door. And what's your worst fear? Only seven people walked in. I thought I was, I thought I was gonna cry. <laughs> so I, I slipped out the doors, I went to the bathroom, and I'm sitting there like on the verge of crying because I've been going for a year now, I've been doing these events, I've been marketing like crazy. And I remember a message right then and there. Doesn't matter if it's three, 300 or 3,000, I'm going to show up and I'm going to give that person and the people that showed up the best version of myself. Don't punish the people that show up to learn from you. doesn't matter if it's three, 300, 3,000. People showed up to learn from you. People showed up to be around you. Don't punish the people in the room, guys. Okay, they showed up. And so this event actually turned out to be one of our biggest grossing events. We ended up bringing in over $35,000, okay, which was essentially a fifth of my income at that point in time in my career through one event, okay? Don't punish the people in the room. Show up. You don't know who's in the room. You don't know where they're at in their life, okay? It doesn't take a lot of people Okay, to create the amount of influence, income, and time freedom that you want in your life. Sometimes we get fixated on thousands of people or hundreds of people. For most of you and some of your niches, it will probably never look like that. Okay, but that doesn't mean you can't create those three things, influence, income, and time freedom. Okay, but in this video, I want to talk about how do we guarantee people is going to show up there. Okay, how do we put a marketing system in place that we know people is going to show up? So we're going to be talking about that. So of course you're showing up, okay, right? Hopefully, hopefully you're showing up to the event and I know your sister Sally is going to show up because she just loves you. So let's get her. And then let's get one of your clients, Bob. Let's get Bob to show up. Okay, and then let's get one of your friends, Eric. Eric will be there. Eric's a stud. Okay, and then let's get mom. Mom's always good for it, right? So let's get mom to show up. So let's pass those messages. Okay, now we got four. And I bet Sally, Sally, your sister, can get another two people. Okay, so she brings up two people. Okay, and I bet mom can bring two people. Okay, I bet Eric can bring two people. Okay, I bet your client who actually loves you because you've helped them on so many levels I bet they're going to invite someone and then I bet the person they invite is going to bring someone too. Okay, so you can see what starts to happen here, guys. Okay, it starts to become a domino effect. 
people that struggle with events is they take on this warrior mentality that they have to get everybody to the event. You need to, you need to transform into your king. You need to lead people to invite other people. So now let's see how many people. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 people, okay? Maybe you're a badass. Maybe you have a little bit more influence. Maybe you have two family members, maybe mom and dad, maybe two friends, maybe you have more clients. And now we start to domino effect that out, okay? It actually is very easy to do this. Everyone in everyone in the world can get at least 10 people to event. That's where it starts, guys. Okay? Start small, move fast. Okay? It's a domino effect. Okay? What my mentor first told me is like if you want more people to show up at an event, it's about doing the event and rolling some of those people that come to the event to come to the next event. And it just domino effects over time. But for most of you, like I was saying, a room full of 30 to 50 people can be very transformational for your business. Don't get fixated on hundreds and thousands of people. Okay, that might not be the route that you wanna go in your business. Okay, so this is, this is what we need to do to start. Let's just start organically getting this out to people around us. So this is the power of your influence multiplying. Okay, so this is the lowest, this is the lowest hanging fruit. Then this is where everyone starts and this is honestly where you're gonna attract the most people to your events is just through this process. Okay, word of mouth is still big guys and especially on social media. Okay, and we'll get to that in a second. So we talked about the power of influence and multiplying. Okay, the second thing is now we can do sponsors. Okay, so the first one is just again, your influence. Okay, the second one is now getting sponsors. So the people that are coming into your room, they're most likely all similar who's. Okay, and these similar who's are also people that other businesses would like to be in front of as well. So that's where now you can bring in a jewelry company and they're gonna set up a booth at the back of your room. And so to set up a back room, now you're gonna sell them a booth sponsor for $400. Plus you're gonna give them five tickets. So on top of them getting people there to the event and marketing the event, now they have the opportunity to market for people in your room, okay? So you're helping them. Another opportunity is now, as you're putting together this event, now you bring on another speaker or you do a panel. So again, same thing. There's people who they would like to be in front of, okay? They're qualified people, they're, they're showing up. So then now they wanna be on stage speaking to those. And so now you do someone like, let's say you're a personal trainer and you just do fitness, now you're bringing in someone that sells gym equipment, or they do nutrition coaching, or they have a supplement company, or whatever it might be, and so there's a nice overlap of what you're offering, okay? So that could be another way. Um, you know, books is a huge benefit of the event. So when you give them a book, now they put your uh, sponsor in the book, so now they have to pay in the book. So this is where you need to be next gen. You need to be innovative and different, okay? What can I offer, how can I help other businesses make more money? Okay, and that's probably the key thing in most people's businesses. The more you worry about yourself making money, the less money you make. Okay, being a leader is about how do I help other people make money? And the more you can help other people make money, okay, and you create almost this little mini economy going on, okay, the bigger that economy is gonna grow. It's not about the economy, it's about your economy. Okay, most people get so stuck on the, the economy is because their economy sucks. They got no people around them that are making money. And the more people you can get around you making money, okay, the more you're gonna benefit in that process. Okay, and then the, the third top way, okay, is essentially social media.
And in order for social media to work, you gotta be social on social media. That's why it's called social media. <laughs> Okay, you got to start posting. You got to start putting this out there. You got to be seen. You got to be heard. Okay, so if you're planning, like we talked about, six months out, okay, which is plenty enough time to be marketing it, okay, you need to be putting out posts. Instagram, Facebook, that's always your top two. YouTube, TikTok, LinkedIn is growing like crazy. Okay, you need to be uh, getting on, on LinkedIn more. Okay, so you need to start putting together posts. Okay, and as you're putting together posts over time as you're doing these events, you're gonna start organizing your posts on your back end, okay, through Google Drive, the, the best posts that are working. So that way you can start to regurgitate and reuse, okay, these posts that are working. Okay, as you do events. Okay, you have videos, you have pictures, you can start using those. So the goal with the event with posting on social media is to drive to a one-on-one -on -one convo. Okay, the mistake that a lot of people make is they just kind of throw it out there. Hey, here's the website and then they expect people that are going to go there. They're just automatically going to sign up and you have to have so much dialed in dialed in this is that a word you have to have so much so many things dialed in on your website videos photos um other things to convert and even then even then you can't just point and expect people to go and sign up okay the goal if you want more people there is to always drive to a one-on-one -on -one conversation okay a lot of events what they're going to is they don't even allow people to sign up they have them sign up for someone to call them. Okay, so remember, every one of these posts you're posting, not every one of them, but most of them, should be going to a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Okay, that one-on-one -on -one conversation, now you can start to talk to some of their uh, limiting beliefs or perceptions that hold them back from going to the event, or maybe they have other questions. Okay, but at the end of the day, Okay, you got to lead people to the water. All right, you can't just point and expect people to go there. Okay, so which means over time you need to be putting together a website. All right, uh, there's this uh, free event page you could use. It's called Eventbrite and you could put together a free page and people can go register. Okay, and that's okay to get things started. Okay, it's Eventbrite, B-R-I-T-E, eventbrite.com. Okay, if you charge money for it, which we'll talk about that in our next video, if you charge for it, they take a percentage of your sales. If it's free, then it's free, right? Okay, but that's where I'd say let's get a little bit more professional here and let's put together a website with its own domain. Okay, and then with the website, what I do is when they click on the link to sign up, it now goes to another page and the platform we are using is what's called Constant Contact. Okay, Constant Contact. And the reason why I love Constant Contact is because it keeps track of who's signing up, it keeps track of who went to your event page and who went to the event page and who left the event page early. So now you can reach out to them and say, hey, I saw that you went to the event page. How come you left? Is there any questions that I can answer? Okay, you can start doing customized codes from 50% off, 75% off. So now with your sponsors, okay, or anyone else, you can say, hey, you know, you get this ticket uh, deal. And then if they sell that um, ticket using their code, then they get 50% of the proceeds back to them. Okay, or they get 50 bucks or whatever the case might be. Maybe there's a contest that you do. Okay, and then Constant Contact allows you to organize them. It allows you to send out emails on Constant Contact. You could also put specific questions you want to ask them, uh, like how long have you been in your field? Um, what were you hoping to gain from this event? Whatever questions that you want to answer. Okay, automation is the key. Okay, keeping it, trying to keep track of it on Excel, spreadsheet, or some Google Drive, that's okay to start, but you really want to up the professionalism 
of your event as fast as possible, okay? So people are actually taking what you're doing seriously. Okay, so constant contact, what we use, and then also a text message system. I in, in the past, I would say it's important. Nowadays, I would say it's absolute necessary. Don't be a cheap, you know what, okay? Don't cut costs on your text message system. Everyone is going to check their text messages. Okay, some you'd be surprised how many people sign up for events and then the last week they're like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot this event, I can't come now. Even if they've paid for it, okay, you'd be surprised. You want a text message system. You want to be sending out weekly updates and usually the people that invite people to the event is usually the people that are already signed up. Okay, maybe you throw out, hey, you get a free ticket since you've already signed up or hey, you get a 50% off or whatever it might be. Okay, so simple texting, simple, uh, simple texting.com, I believe is it. There's tons of them out there. Okay, we have a CRM called Alona that we have uh, customized, we've put together, and what it does is it um, you put all your text messages in there that you want to be sent out. So as soon as they sign up, it sends this text message. Then it will send this message at this point in time. So it automates things. And so that's what you want to do with your event. You want to automate things as much as possible. And this is something you should always be thinking about. How do I automate things okay, through technology? How do I get technology working for me so I don't have to? Okay, I don't know if I'm a hard worker or I'm just lazy. I think it's a little bit of both because at the end of the day, I don't wanna to have to work any harder than I have to. So I'm gonna work really hard right now so I don't have to work harder in the future. Okay, technology is something that, we're, that most people just do not leverage enough on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, so these are how to market the event. Okay, you're gonna get better as time goes on. Okay, start small, move fast. Okay, and probably one of the biggest things too to get people to show up to the event is having a real live person call them. Maybe that's you at first. Hey, I got you scheduled for this. Just wanted to confirm you're still coming. What were you hoping to get out of this event? Um, what made you sign up for this event? You know, what's important to this event? So don't underestimate a good old fashioned pick up the phone and dial them, okay? It'll go a long ways, all right? The more you can know about the audience coming into the event, the more successful you're gonna be at the actual event, okay? So again, let's recap. Okay, your influence, this is always gonna be one of the biggest ones. Two, getting sponsors, getting other people to be a part of the event. This just isn't your event. This is your business event. This is an economy event. Get more people winning. The more people winning, the more you'll win, okay? And then lastly, be social on social media, okay? Put together posts. You want to put together posts and score them into Google Drive so that way as time goes on, all you're really doing is sharing the best of the best posts, okay? Have a text message system, but most importantly, you or someone else, pick up, dial the phone, Okay, confirm it. Okay, use technology. All right, in our next video, okay, the last video of this series, we're gonna be talking about probably one of the most important things. How do we make money? Okay, we didn't talk about ticket sales. We didn't talk about how you're making money. So in our next video, that's all we're gonna be talking about is how do we make money at your events, okay? So check out that video. I'll talk to you in just a second.